זו כבר לא טעות אחת פה ושם, זה דפוס, כותרות חובבניות במקרה הטוב, מרושעות במקרה הפחות טוב ברשתות הזרות, היום אפילו הייתה התנצלות של רשת CNN על אחת מהכותרות האלו, אבל זו באמת תופעה שחוזרת על עצמה לא פעם ולא פעמיים. האם מדובר בטעויות תמימות, או אולי יותר מזה, אנחנו רוצים לדבר עם מי שעבד בשניים מכלי התקשורת שפרסמו היום כותרות בעייתיות, עבד בטלגרף, קצת עם ה-BBC, תום גרוס, שלום לך. Hello. כשאנחנו רואים את הכותרות האלו, איך אתה מרגיש עם זה? איך אתה חושב, למה הם מדווחים את הדיווחים האלו? אני חושב שהמדיה צריכה להיות קריטית של ישראל כשהם מתאימים, אבל הם לא צריכים להיות ישראל לסטנדרד שהם לא צריכים להיות לכל מדינה בעולם, אפילו לעצמם. כן, אבל מה שראינו היום זה היה פשוט טעות, זה לא היה עניין של מוטה או לא הוגן או לא מאוזן, פשוט טעויות רציניות באינפורמציה, איך זה well, קורה? Yes, well, the mistakes have a context. Often the bias is subconscious, so mm-hmm. that um, people are not even aware that they're being biased. In the past, there was an analysis done of mistakes in the New York Times about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Every single mistake was against Israel. Something like 17 mistakes know. were against Israel, zero mistakes were against the Palestinians. The journalists themselves and the news anchors need to try and be balanced or fair. I mean, uh, that's part of בוא נדבר על התפקיד של האורחים הראשיים בעניין הזה, הם לא מודעים, הם לא מתדרכים את האנשים שלהם בגלל שהיו הרבה טעויות בעבר, להימנע מלעשות טעויות כאלה או לפחות להיות קשובים? Well, apparently not, because a lot of them don't care. You know, I'm in touch with quite a lot of senior editors, and I myself pointed out mistakes to them in private meetings, and they kind of brush them aside, they don't care. It's not only um, errors today. We saw on the BBC an interview this morning with Naftali Bennett, and the BBC presenter said, take that down, take that down, we don't want to see that picture. Now, You have to understand the BBC this summer showed pictures of dead Palestinians day after day, hour after hour, much worse pictures. And there is a kind of unspoken policy at the BBC that when Palestinians are victims, they show the pictures in their bloodiest form. But when Jews or Israelis are victims, they don't want to see any pictures. How do you feel about the part of the government of the Israeli government in the government? Maybe they need to talk more with the government, to tell them, see, you were here, to send them, to send them, to send them information. Maybe it's the problem, it's not the problem. Well, yes. Uh, certainly is Israeli government officials could do a better job at public relations there's no doubt however the amount of coverage the amount of attention this small country receives is out of all proportion to the size and importance of the country so even with the best spokespeople in the world Israeli spokespeople would still have a difficult job at dealing with the sheer quantity of, of, of journalists asking questions part of the questions have to be asked why for example the This summer, the BBC had more reporters in Gaza than they had when Britain helped invade Iraq in 2003 in Baghdad and Basra. In other words, the BBC had more foreign reporters in Gaza than they sent to Iraq and Afghanistan in wars that British troops were fighting in. And they would say, some of them, that it's not because they're against Israel. They would say it's because they care so much about Israel. That's maybe what they feel and say, but I have my doubts about it in many cases. Tom, thank you very much for this conversation. You're very welcome. Bye-bye. Good evening. Thank you.